the largest conventional bomb ever dropped in combat exploded above a complex of caves and tunnels in a remote area of eastern Afghanistan. The top U.S. commander adamant the mission was only about killing ISIS. And the timing of the use of this weapon was simply the appropriate tactical moment against the proper target to use this particular munition. So it is not related to any outside events. It does deliver a psychological message to ISIS. One military official tells CNN the massive bomb is powerful enough to destroy nine city blocks. A diameter of 15 to 20 uh, soccer fields, football fields. It will level that area and provide an unbelievable amount of concussion uh, to that area. So it will collapse caves, it will blow up things, and it will, <laughs> if you're alive afterwards, you're going to have perforated eardrums and a lot of trauma. General Nicholson says it all went according to plan. Caves and tunnels destroyed. Afghan officials say dozens of ISIS fighters killed. We had persistent surveillance over the area before during and after the operation and now we have Afghan and U.S. forces on the site and see no evidence of civilian casualties nor have there been any reports of civilian casualties. The bomb had been in Afghanistan since early January. Nicholson signed the final order authorizing the mission just 24 hours before the bomb dropped. Afterwards, local Afghans described the enormity of the blast. Last night's bomb was really huge. When it dropped, it was shaking everywhere. So General Nicholson thinks he can get rid of ISIS sometime in 2017. A lot of firepower used here, but the estimate is there's still upwards of 800 ISIS fighters inside Afghanistan.